Hello and uh, welcome back to my video about Python. In this video I will show how you can use Python to convert XML to a nice uh, Panda data frame. It's, uh, it could be used because you over time when you work with the different companies you will use uh, XML to transport something and some um, companies use big uh, XML to like product lists and something like that and you need to convert it to data frame so you can uh, sort and convert all your data so I have creating a sample uh, XML here you can see you have a key one two three four five and I have a web page I have a content and what I want is to take the type and the language the gender and feature and if I don't have a web here I will use this web else I will use this and then I will convert it to a data frame. So let's begin. I will start to import uh, pandas as pd and then I want to uh, import e3, xml e3. As you see and then I want to build a function. Then I will go down here to say my e3 is equal to uh, pass, oops, and then the name, no, and author. And then I will go for doc data frame, pd data frame, and I'll be ready here. Uh, I will start to say. I want to convert it for a list. My output I return for my doc should be a list. And then I will say uh, my function here, my entire docs. And then I will say uh, e3 to get the, the root of the cell. That's what I do is taking my root document of, uh, of XML and put it into the function. Go up here and I return it, and then I want to convert for a list. And when we have a list, Panda data frame can convert it correctly. So let's go up here to say I want all my attributes. It's uh, my XML doc my attributes. I want to say uh, a follow for the doc. Just let's call it the doc uh, XML. And then I want to uh, the XML doc, and I want to give me the entire uh, document, and then I want to say doc here, yeah, is equal to. Uh, ATGR and then copy it. That's meaning I just take a copy of this uh, uh, element already and then I want to override to say docdir update and I want to update with my uh, doc attributes. So that's meaning all my attributes is, will be copied down here. So my XML will go down to all right, and when I'm done, I want to call it dig uh, uh, data is equal to dot text. Uh, whoops, that's mean we have a, a data here. I want to copy this. Sorry, my my uh, my bug here and XML. That's fine. And that's meaning I have a, a data uh, area where I put my text. My text is coming from uh, here, C data, and then I put it inside here. And then I use yell doc dig. That's meaning it can ask, ask for the next one. So I, I output it. So when we take the root and put it into my function and convert the function to uh, 
a list uh, object inside here, a directory, sorry, and then I say return this directory if you ask for it, and then convert it for a list to the data frame. If I run this, it should not have any errors, and you can see process none. So just for fun, let's us print it out here, and I'll go down here. You can see it should be here. That's perfect. Let's just for fun to print it out here. I'll take the first element and everything out of it and run it again. You can see I have a web here, sample page and type and everything I wanted. So let's just say the first element here don't have a web content and I run it again. Now you can see foobar test page is taken up here. So if I don't have the, the key attribute here, it will use a default one, else I will replace it. Thank you so much for watching this video about how to convert XML to Panda data frame. I hope you want to enjoy it and subscribe my channel, of course, and give it a like if you like my video here. And I hope you want to add it for a playlist and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time. See you next time.